I'm back. Uh, not dead. Um, just took a break. Had a baby. Wife had a baby. I didn't do really much. I was there at the beginning of the kickoff meeting, but nothing after that. Um, yeah, had a baby. Baby's nine months old now. Figured I'd jump back on the BMW, make a video. Um, uh, I was going to replace my fuel filter, and then my fuel filter was not in the place that every other E36's fuel filter is, up by the engine block and the um, driver's side motor mount. So I was looking, and then I found this guy, charcoal canister. Um, I didn't want it there anymore. It was just in the way. I wanted to put my catch can there. Um, it was just in the way. I didn't want to deal with it. Uh, so I looked online how to delete it and didn't really see much information. Everyone said that your uh, car is going to blow up. Um, what else they say? You're going to destroy the environment for my grandchildren. That was a good one. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go through. I'm going to just take measurements, delete it, and just show you how I did it. Um, I'm going to buy a battery operated weed eater to offset my uh, carbon footprint, okay? So everyone will be very excited about that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to show you what all these lines are and pretty much what to, uh, what to expect when you're deleting it. Uh, let's go. It's kind of windy outside, so I'm going to show you how to do it. And if it's too windy, I'll just, you know, I guess add some words on the bottom. Um, when I'm editing this video. So, let's go out there. Let's delete this thing. All right, it's windy, but here we are. Um, pretty much, I have the intake manifold off so we can kind of see everything easier. Uh, this is our charcoal canister. So, it's in a terrible spot. Uh, I got my catch can over here, off to the side. I want to put it right here. So, we're just gonna delete it. It pretty much has three lines that go into the canister, two up top, one below. The one below actually vents the atmosphere, so we don't have to really worry about that one as much. Uh, the two up top, the blue line that you can see, that's the one that comes from the tank um, to, I guess, you know, feed the charcoal canister for to catch all the vapors. Um, the one next to it, this black line, is the one that goes into the uh, throttle body itself. Um, so pretty much those are the two lines that we have to, I guess, address when we pull this. So pretty much for the vent, we're just going to use a little, the little filter. Um, and for the throttle body, uh, actually, I have the throttle body right here. I don't know if you can see it. But this little port right here, down here, oh, let me see if I can get it. It's a little tiny port. And I'm just going to use a vacuum cap and just kind of uh, clamp it down so we don't have to worry about these. These two are just the... Uh, the the water lines that I kind of already removed already for the preheater. So pretty much that's what we got to do. So all we need now is a 10 millimeter. Um, also, I've seen people kind of fuck these up real bad. All you gotta do is pinch it and it should walk right out. Let's see. Of course I say that, and it won't. There we go, boom, pinched and it's off. Um, this one is already off from the throttle body, so we already disconnected that, and the other one's vented the atmosphere, so now we just gotta unbolt it, little 10 millimeter, and she's out. Two ten millimeters. Ooh, Nelly. Let me secure the shit out of this thing. All right, two tens. Probably all the wind noise in the world. Is that? Let's see if we can get that other line out.
So, we're back in the garage. It was really windy outside, so I don't know how much of all everything um, you were able to hear, but pretty much, you know, it sits in the car, similar to this. You know, you see these top points. This is where the blue line comes in from the tank itself, um, and this is the outlet. So, it's you know, it comes down to this um, purge valve, so, you know, it's got a connector here. The ECU tells it to open or close, and this is the part that goes into the throttle body. So, at certain points, you know, I don't know what the um, computer is asking for when it's uh, one open to close. I assume a you know a good amount of vacuum in order to draw. Um, but yeah, and then on the bottom, which you can't really tell, is just this line that kind of dumps out right by the uh, the driver's side lower control arm lollipop bushing. Uh, it really just vents to nothing. It's a very hard plastic hose. Um, so I'm assuming that's when. When this valve opens and vacuum's drawn, I guess it's drawing from from here up through the the carbon whatever's charcoals in here uh, to unburn fuel vapors. I don't know. I really don't know how it works. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of it. Um, what this does is it it does leave a lot of you know I guess gasoline vapors within your engine bay. Uh, Really, you're only going to see it, I guess, in you know large temperature swings or something like that. So, just be mindful. Don't leave it right next to uh, anything that can spark. Um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to put this little filter on top of it. Uh, it goes from three eighths to half inch. Just has a little you know slip fit. I'm going to cut the end of that blue hose off, slip this on, and just tuck this back behind the um, you know by like the brake booster or something like that. So it's like kind of out of the way, but still able to vent. I'll keep it back there. I guess it'll, you know, draw, you know, vent out the back of the hood. Uh, I guess. I don't know. But I didn't see a lot of videos kind of showing what they did. They just kind of mainly just talked about these two hoses and not about this hose. So I was kind of scared when I saw this. But don't be. It just goes to nothing. So you can kind of unclip it. Um, but we're going to go outside. I'm just going to clip the end of that hose zip tie this bugger on there and just kind of tuck it out of the way just to kind of show you. Probably getting all the wind noise. We deleted it so it's pretty much the one thing I wanted to I guess explain to you guys is I deleted um, I cut the clip off of the blue line and I kind of left a little nipple that was sticking in the blue just to make it just a little bit stiffer for that little um, clamp on filter to sit so it wouldn't crush the tube uh, but yeah that's all I did just wanted to show you how to do it um, for this valve what I'm thinking of doing is leaving it off for now, but if I get like a check engine light, I mean it's OBD1, it won't have a check engine light, but if it goes in any kind of weird limp mode or anything like that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little valve off, unconnect, um, undo the hoses, and just kind of connect it to that little connector and just stab it off to the side somewhere just to see if that um, that will solve the problem. But I'm not going to get rid of this yet. I'm going to hold on to it. Um, but, if y'all want, I can, um, I'm gonna, I might cut this thing open just to see how it works with, you know, the vent tube. And, like, I guess it passes through the charcoal media up to the top. I don't know. I don't know how this fucking thing works. Uh, it's made of glass fiber reinforced nylon. I know that. Um, but, yeah. So, next video. We're going to be changing the fuel filter because no one has a video showing how to change the fuel filter where it's up by the uh, engine mount. Uh, do that next. Uh, put the 
intake manifold back on after I get the piece of metal that fell into the combustion chamber out. That's going to be fun. Um, then after that, that's pretty much it. We're just going to be uh, on our merry way. Um, I got a handbrake extension coming. I'm going to throw that on. Uh, there's videos showing that. I'm not going to really show a video on that unless you need me to. Um, but yeah, I hope this video finds you well. Uh, let me know if you want me to cut this thing open and see what's on the inside. It'd be cool to see. Uh, Alright, until next video. Y'all take care. Bye. I love you.